from the Ohio State Bar Association, this is Law You Can Use. Tina's Law, with Lisa Burleson, Chair of the Ohio State Bar Association Education Law Committee. What is Tina's Law? Essentially, um, it's a new law that addresses dating violence in particular in public schools. Um, it was enacted through Substitute House Bill 19 at the end of last calendar year. Um, took effect in March, so just a few weeks ago. And um, we'll actually go into effect as far as school district implementation this coming fall in September. What are public schools required to do to comply with this law? They need to update their model policies on bullying, anti-intimidation, anti-harassment, now to incorporate um, concepts of anti-dating violence. And um, the policy updates should not be difficult to accomplish because most districts subscribe to a policy provider that can help them along with the substance of amending their policies. Um, the second compliance point probably is the most burdensome in terms of um, time and materials, which is training all certified and licensed staff in the school district now on concepts of dating violence, recognizing um, unhealthy habits, recognizing warning signs of dating violence and whatnot. That would apply to all certified licensed personnel in the district. That would include psychologists, nurses, teachers, administrators. So that's um, somewhat of an expense in time and materials for the district. Um, it could be brought right in line with the district's annual in-service for certified licensed personnel that they already do on topics of anti-harassment, bullying, and whatnot. It would just now be an additional piece to that. And then the third compliance point um, is in terms of instruction of students. And the new statute requires that all students grades 7 through 12 receive instruction in dating violence and healthy relationships. Now the caveat to that is the statute speaks to age-appropriate instruction. So um, districts will have to do some research in terms of term determining what is age-appropriate, what isn't. Um, but the Ohio Department of Education is supposed to provide some recommendations on model curricula for those grades, what is age-appropriate, what is not. Will the schools have assistance in complying with these new mandates? Well, in terms of the policy piece of compliance, um, districts, generally speaking, use um, a policy provider. Most districts don't write their policies in-house, so their policy provider would give them the guidance on the policy compliance piece. Um, and then in terms of training of their staff and um, the model curricula updates for grades 7 through 12, the presumption, and actually the statute speaks to this, is that the Ohio Department of Education would provide each district with resources. Um, the Ohio Department of Education is supposed to provide model curricula as well as um, some training materials for districts to use. Can parents review the dating violence prevention materials used at their child's school? Absolutely. They can review not only the new policies, but the curricula as well. And um, I would think that would probably be of interest to parents, given the fact that it's somewhat of a sensitive issue, dating violence, healthy relational habits. Um, so the parents do have an opportunity to review not only the policies when they're updated, but actually the curricula that their, their child would be learning in the classroom. Where can school districts go to get more information about the law's requirements? Well, at this point, um, the main source of information is going to have to be the Ohio Department of Education. Um, they do have folks specifically staffed that are to handle what's known as safe schools in a general bucket term. and. Um, who's been assigned specifically to handle the dating violence piece of Tina's law, I'm not certain, but contacting the Ohio Department of Education and the group of folks that handle the safe schools environment compliance pieces would probably be the, the main source at this point in time. This has been Law You Can Use from the Ohio State Bar Association. Details on this and other legal topics are available at ohiobar.org.